Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. God made baptism. Whatever it is, whatever you're struggling with, whatever we're trying to get our head around when it comes to this sacrament, baptism, we start with this one point because where it comes from actually does start to shape our understanding of it. God made baptism. This is something Luther latches right onto when he talks about it in the large catechism. He writes, Here stand God's commandment and institution, lest we doubt that baptism is divine, not devised nor invented by men. For as truly as I can say, no man has spun the Ten Commandments, the Creed, and the Lord's Prayer out of his head, but they are revealed and given by God himself, so also I can boast that baptism is no human trifle, but instituted by God himself. See, when it comes to baptism, we start with where it comes from before we talk about anything else. When we deal with the scriptures that, that reveal to us what baptism is, when we deal with Matthew 28, going into all nations, teach them to observe all that I have commanded you and baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. When we talk about Mark 16, he who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. When we talk about any of the scripture passages that would talk about baptism, let's first start with where it comes from. Because whatever it is, and whatever detail you want to try and get way too hung up on, let's start here. Baptism comes from God, just like the Ten Commandments, just like the Lord's Prayer. And I know that there are those who would say that neither of those things are actually necessary to be a Christian, but, I mean, we don't start with whether or not we like or agree with the Ten Commandments or even the Lord's Prayer, but whether or not God gave them. Because here's the real question. Does God give bad gifts? If you say yes, that says more about you than it does about him. God gives good gifts because God is good. It's, it's a, not about you at all. It's not about your preference at all. It's not about your decision at all. It's about where it comes from and who that giver is. Is God a good gift giver? Yeah. Is baptism a good gift? Yeah. Baptism doesn't stand on human invention or human will or human works. None of it. Baptism stands on God's word and institution, his word and command. Get baptized. Why? Because God says so. At least eight times explicitly in the large catechism, Luther talks about God's word and command, his word and institution that, that start baptism. The small catechism is all over this too. In the simplest question, what is baptism? He writes, baptism is not just plain water, but it is the water included with God's command and combined with God's word. His word and command give us baptism. God made baptism. And not only is it divine, but it's divine for you. Not only did he make it, he gave it to you. He didn't just institute it. He said, here, do it. It's given by God himself for you so that whatever it is, it matters just because of that. He commands it. Like the commandments. You know, those 10 things you're supposed to be doing? The law is actually how things are supposed to go. It's better this way. We talked about the 10 commandments here for like a year and we realized that the law isn't bad. It's good because it comes from a good God. The problem lies with me, a sinner, who can't fulfill the law. The things that are commanded by God just happen. It's proper. It's good. God commanded that there be day and night. He separated the day from the night, and that's been working out for us all right so far. The problem with the Ten Commandments that he gave through Moses is that we can't fulfill them. And so to us, they bring only death. But so God gives us a, another type of command here. Be baptized. And he means it. It stands on his words and institution. Every bit as much as the Ten Commandments start uh, and, and matter because they come from God. But here's the thing about baptism versus the Ten Commandments. Baptism isn't up to you. See, the fulfillment isn't happening by you. Is happening to you. The fulfillment of baptism is being done to you by God. In the same way that God instituted days and nights, not that it's up to you to fulfill it by making there be days and nights, but just to have it done to you. Live in a world with days and nights that it would work out all right for you. In the same way, he institutes baptism to be a blessed water, a lavish washing away of sin. And he leaves you clear instructions too. Take some water. How much? It's 
not actually all that important. Just make sure that there's water. Splash it on someone and say God's triune name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Baptism. I know, because God instituted it. He commanded it be done this way. And as soon as you interject our will or our works or anything, doubt starts to creep in. Did I decide enough? Am I old enough? Was there enough water? Am, am I a good enough person to do this? Have I given myself to Jesus? All of these things. Probably not. Absolutely not. At the very, very best. I don't know. Which was the whole problem with the law of Moses. It only brings doubt and, and despair because it shows us reality. The Ten Commandments show us exactly how things are supposed to be. Baptism does too, but in a God delivering a promise to you kind of way. This is how you are supposed to be, holy. And so he gives you baptism to make you that way. The whole thing stands on God's word and command. This is his work. It all comes from his sacrifice upon a cross. He wants you to have baptism. And so he instituted baptism to give it to you so that there would be no doubt, so that none of it would stand on you or your work or your will or anything. He, he says, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Be baptized. Have this gift that, that you would have a clear word and command attached to it that would also bring a clear promise. This is is how things work. You get baptized, you get saved. Easy. Because the whole thing stands on Jesus. The, the joy about baptism being based on God's word and command is there is no more room for doubt to creep in and ask us, have you done enough? Because, well, was there a little bit of water? Was there God's triune name? Well, then there's baptism. God's word and command fulfilled for you.